This is a supplement to this video. How to install the Quick Start External Regular Kit for Dodge Dresser Jeep Bypass. Alternator Man here. I want to show you. Now this kit is our first kit. It's our ERCK FRM. It shows the alternator connected to two studs on the back of the alternator. Now since 99, since 99 they put a plug on the back of the alternator. And here's the original plug that they used. This was used in 99. And it shows the plug. It has a locking clip up at the top. Then two pins go crossways. But after 99, they went to a different style plug and a, and a modified driver. This is the latest style plug that they have. You notice the locking clips up on the top and the pins are vertical. If you have this type of plug, then you need our modified driver as well as our ERCK FRM kit. And I'm going to go over those details right now. Basically what we've got is an alternator here and we're gonna have a setup so you have to change the modified driver on it this is gonna be for ERCK FRM either 071 081 or 091 kits we're gonna be working on the ERCK FRM 071 on how to install it and what you have to do, you get the ERCK kit, plus you get the modified driver with it. And I'm going to show you how to change that modified driver. I, I've taken most of both out of this so you can see it much easier. What you do is you take the nuts off the back, and then take the back cover off. And then the driver and the brush hole assembly is right there. And what you do is you have to take these two screws out of here, and there's two screws that hold the brush holder assembly to the driver. What you have to do is take those all out and take the driver brush hole assembly off the alternator. And the driver brush hole assembly is screwed together with screws. What you have to do is transfer that driver brush holder assembly over to the modified driver. And when you do that, you have to push the brushes back. The brushes are right here. You push those back and you put either a toothpick or pin there's a little hole in the back of the in the brush holder. Once you push it down, hold that back. So what I've done is with the modified driver, I put a new brush holder on it. I didn't complete it. It's got only one screw in it. But it already has a pin through it. The pin is holding the brushes back. So what you do is, when you do this, you have to transfer the brush holder assembly from the original driver to the new modified driver and then screw the brush hole assembly to it run the screws back run the brushes back put a pin in it then you put this on the alternator and then you bolt it back down you're gonna have to pull that pin out when you pull a pin out that drops the brushes in place and then once you do that you screw it all down and then you have to put your back cover on and then you're all set you've changed the driver. Once you bolt that on, you chain it. Now there's two types of drivers for this Nim and Denzel. This is our driver that comes out in 90 degree with a Denzel. There's also a driver that is a straight driver. It come it would come out straight like this. So instead of being 90 degree, it's straight. That's our ERCK FRM 081 kit. This one's our ERCK FRM 071 kit. Our other kit is for a totally different. These, these drivers are for Denso type alters. This setup is for Bosch alter. And you can tell the Bosch because Bosch, the brush holders molded right into it and you cannot take it apart. And I'll do a separate video on how to set this up on the Bosch. It's a Bosch. 136 amp alternator that this goes on. So, 
You have to do this, do these drivers, then hook up the, the, the external regular kit like normal, and then you're all set. If you're having trouble with this, give me a call. We'll help you out. Thank you.